All right, I had to get another phone so I could tell y'all because I was going to forget. So I took this out, which is the tool you spit in. Easy activation, just scan it, boom. Download Ancestry.com or Ancestry DNA. Set up my profile. They asked my age, my name. Took this, scanned it. The little bar right there. They activated it. So the first thing that I had, they asked me, you got to give them consent to process your DNA. I accepted that one. Then you have to, they ask you for sample storage. DNA sample storing is voluntary. You can activate your DNA kit and receive your, res your results even if you do not give consent. So they say that sample storing, storing a sample of, with ancestries can save you weeks of processing time and help you avoid having to submit a new sample for new products or services in the future that can result from different technology. So I elected to store my sample, then participate in research is the next section. Participation is voluntary. You will receive your DNA kit and receive your results, even if you do not consent. We invite you to participate in research conducted by us and our collaborators to advance the study of genetics, ge genealogy, anthropology, and health. No additional work is required to participate. Data will be shared outside of Ancestry, does not include your name or contact information, and you are free to withdraw this consent at any time. I'll consent, i participate. Then you hit next. DNA matches is next. When we process your DNA, we compare your results to other ancestry members to see if you have DNA in common. If you choose to see your DNA matches, you will be listed as a match to them. You and your matches can discover how you are related, view each other's profile, and send messages to each other. Uh, would you like to see your DNA matches and be listed as a match? Yes. You might have like a brother somewhere. Finding new matches, new members can be exciting, but you might also discover unexpected relatives, which could surprise you and your family. You can change this preference at any time. That's funny. We'll get next. Display name. My name displays as Thurston White Jr. Ethnicity estimate display. Choose how your Ethnicity estimate is shown to DNA matches. Show my complete ethnicity estimate and communities. Show only what I have in common. Show it all. Doesn't matter. Kit notifications. You will receive an email. You will receive email updates about the status of your DNA kit and other DNA kits you activate. To the email, address associated with your file i would like to receive text updates yeah i like i check text more than email so i put my phone number in for text message all right so next dna ethnicity results matches and insights um find out when new information and relatives are discovered in, in your DNA results. If you view or manage other personal DNA results, you'll find new information or relative discovery based on their results. Would you like to receive weekly emails? Why not? I oh, don't know. I'm not going to want to receive weekly emails. I don't take no for that. I'll just check for results. I'm going to put no. But it asks you to review everything. Just reviewing. All 
right, then submit and activate. And then it gets activated. So now I just gotta wait about 10 more minutes. I can saliva in the tube, put it in the bag, process it. Thank you. I'll be back.